How to stage an empty house? I have some tips on how to stage your house for sale coming right after this. of tips on selling your home. Let us look at how to stage an empty house and also navigate the process of home staging before and after. If you are planning to sell your house, that home staging is something to consider to make your house more appealing to your potential buyers. You would want your potential buyers to feel at home and imagine themselves living in the property. That will be a challenge if you are to show an empty house that gives a cold and dull look to the buyers. If they can't see themselves living there, they are not likely to purchase the home. Staging an empty house can cost you a lot of money. But with careful preparation, you can strike a balance between not leaving the house completely empty and not having it overly furnished either. Here are my 5 tips. First, do an inventory. Make a list of home items you currently have and pieces that are missing. It could be mirror, lamps, throw pillow or area rugs. Once you find out what you need to get, you can purchase these items and display it for the staging. To save money, buy furniture or items that you would eventually use in your new home. Second, use a furniture rental company. Filling large empty rooms with heavy furnishings can be challenging. This is an important step to let your potential buyer see how each corner of the room could be used. You might have to get the services of a furniture rental company or if not, ask help from family or friends in case they have unused furnishings you can loan such as an extra love seat or antique table perhaps. There are many professional staging companies in the greater Toronto area to help you get the perfect look on the inside of your home. Third. Use area rugs to define space. Let's say there are rooms in the house where you think it's not necessary or possible to fill with furniture. Using area rugs can be an alternative. A room that's left empty can look smaller than it truly is. So putting rugs in places can help define space and show where the furniture could possibly go in the future. Fourth tip is to stage selectively. What I mean by that is that you should focus more of your staging efforts on certain rooms that buyers care the most. This includes the master bedroom, the living room and the kitchen. Place just enough furniture and accessories for each of these rooms to showcase the possibilities one can make with that space. And lastly, add some accessories to the kitchen and the bathroom. Kitchen and bathroom are one of the easiest to stage since it does not require a lot of furniture. For kitchen, nothing can beat plenty of counter space, so try to leave most of the space bare. You can add just a touch of simple decorative touches like a vase with fresh flowers, small succulents or maybe decorative bowls. For the bathroom, you can make it look fresh by hanging clean towels, placing a small house plant and adding decorative soaps. Make sure staging helps your buyer imagine themselves living in the property as this can make the difference between your home selling quickly or staying in the market for longer. In the end, the staging cost usually brings in higher selling price. To help buyers see your home full potential and spark their imaginations and emotion, don't skip on the important process of staging your home. What are your staging ideas? Please share them in the comments below. Watch my other videos for more tips on how to sell your home fast. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.